your new wedding planet, your 21st century wedding planning course. Welcome. Join us on a global adventure into the future starting today. Learn to be a professional wedding planner. Diversify your existing wedding business. Plan your own wedding with confidence. Our rapid video course is from Silicon Valley, home of the world's leading technology innovators in internet education and entrepreneurship. Apple, Google, and Yahoo have opened the way for you to create your future online. Our online training course shows you how to develop your wedding business or plan your wedding right now. Learn the wedding basics from experts who teach you in entertaining video course tutorials you watch on your computer or mobile device whenever it's most convenient for you. Celebrity course contributors who appear on CBS News, Food Network and The Oprah Winfrey Show. Learn all about today's hot wedding topics from authors, entrepreneurs, wedding planners at the top of their careers, the new green wedding, multicultural and same-sex weddings, and the modern budget wedding. Learn the principles of wedding psychology from Dr. Kevin Smith, former chief psychiatric resident at one of the world's leading medical centers. Learn why people get married, who's getting married now, and what the new world of weddings really means. Let's start with Oprah Winfrey and our celebrity wedding cake specialist. Such hard pounding drama all for a cake. So here's the deal. Last week, we dared three of the top pastry chefs in the country to compete in the ultimate cake off right here on this stage. The only rule? Well, there are no rules. In going through this process and getting to know your client, what you're doing then is establishing an understanding of that 20%. Remember, we as people have more in common than we don't have in common. So there's 80% that we have in common, give or take, and there's 20% that we don't. What you're doing is flushing out that 20%. Oprah was a crazy, surreal experience. It was one of those things that I just felt like I couldn't say no to. How do you say no to Oprah? You just, you don't is the answer. As far as wedding planners in general, good ones, you hardly know they're there. My favorite ones are the ones who give me the information I need and step back. You've basically got to be confident in your own choices in life. The more choices you give people, the more confusing it really can be. You can't do your own flowers. You can't make your own cake. <laughs> and, you know, those poor planners, they earn every penny. And now you're understanding the blurriness that's in their window and their perceptions of how they see the world and that's going to make it very useful for you. We're all there to do a job and that's to pull off a fantastic memorable wedding. So start thinking out of the box. Use this economy to your advantage and say to yourself how can I deliver a very unique experience to the bride and groom. Bring on the traditions. Stomp on a piece of glass pour sand together, have a hoopa, shoot off fireworks. I think those traditions are very, very important. They add a lot of flavor and a lot of color and personality. I'm very proud to be a wedding planner and I think anybody can adopt this career as long as you're organized, you're open, you're willing to learn new things, you, you gotta be very patient and you just have to set your own boundaries. If I recommend a vendor, it's because that vendor is the best in the business. There was one wedding that I did that, uh, that had Native American influences, it had uh, Jewish and Buddhist and, uh, and some hippie influence. So, my God, you know, the sky's the limit. Have fun, this is your special day. Mazel tov. We had 3,000 people attending my wedding because I always wanted a small wedding. Money speaks to people. Money makes people stop and rethink before they um, start demanding and asking because they're going to know the more they raise those expectations, 
the more cash they're going to be paying out. Oh, I see you have my book here. Oh, yes. I noticed that uh, Rosie O'Donnell wrote the introduction. The impact of the ceremony. These rituals are powerful rituals, transformational. In my book, I include, um, OK, you're not selling this gown because you're getting divorced, right? My bridal gown is a little interesting. I borrowed it, which is not a plug for the wedding industry at all. <laughs> Believe it or not, karma is very important to a bride, and they don't want to use a gown <laughs> that, you know, <laughs> it's been resold because the couple got divorced. Oh, you should look at my photos and see if you want to wear my dress. I would love for someone to wear it again. I tried it on. It fit like a dream. No alterations. I didn't have to find a place to store it when I was done. The different skirts I want to talk about, the ball gown, the A-line, the trumpet, the mermaid, and the sheet. You also want to remind your client that you have established together an expectation that's reasonable, that's different from their original, humanly impossible expectation. Wait, I forgot to tell you about ring sizing. You're gonna get an opportunity throughout your uh, meetings and discussions with people. You say, oh, that's an opportunity, and you can say, um, sounds like that was stressful for you. Tell me a bit about that. You don't want the wrong size to come in right before the wedding. And this gown would be good for women that are a little bit hippie, women that are have a little meat on the bottom and they want to hide. Always put it in the same place. You never want to hide it because you might hide it too well. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. So you're going to build that little library in their file of here's how they responded to stressors in the past and as that wedding approaches you're going to be watching for indicators that that's starting to emerge. Why do we swirl a wine? Why do we take small sips? Why is the glass only filled half full? So explain them. These are the five things that can, can occur in a wedding. Everyone knows that um, websites are very, very important to a successful business. The internet is a huge marketing tool. Since you're going to be affiliated with New Wedding Planet, I would suggest that you create your own brand product page. Having video content actually can help promote your business tenfold. Hillary's Wedding Planning Facebook page. No one likes to read, you know, all the text on your website, but if they watch a fast, easy, quick video, it captures their attention. Wedding planners are essential because they may be the first stop that a couple that has no clue about any of this may make. It is helpful for a wedding planner to be around because they know everything that's going on with the wedding process. <laughs> Find someone who loves what she or he does. Find someone who is proud of the job that he or she is doing. Find someone who is excited and engaged, who is animated and organized. We're basically all wedding planners here. Isn't that interesting that more grooms are becoming involved in the wedding planning? I would definitely bank on being a wedding planner. I have known men in the last couple of years who are in charge of the wedding planning. More and more men are becoming the professional planner. From experience, you meet a lot of great people, but you have to be dedicated, you have to always be organized, and you have to be ready for whatever comes your way. Even if the place is on fire, we're going to pretend like that's exactly what was supposed to happen. There may be some behavior <laughs> that you will come across that won't always be great. I personally and professionally don't like the term bridezilla. I think it's offensive or potentially offensive, and I would strongly recommend that in your practice you set up, let's call it a bridezilla free zone. The interesting thing about New Wedding Planet is its flexibility to people. You know, they can stream it on their iPad on their way to work if they're looking to change careers. They can spend a weekend, sit in front of a computer and, and take care of the whole thing. So whether people are only able to carve out a half hour a week to do their studies or whether they have long periods of time to devote themselves to it, I think the format lends itself to empowering people to learn what they need to do to change their careers or to launch a career in the wedding planning business. The single most important choice that you have to make in your wedding planning process, you've already done. If you join New Wedding Planet's family today, you too can start your wedding planning career. Diversify your existing wedding planning business or plan your own wedding with confidence. It's easy. Press join now to get started immediately. Welcome to New Wedding Planet.